this must be Devonport we're closing in on, and that's good because that's where we're heading. So here we are on Mount Victoria. In Devonport, it's an easy ferry across the harbor to here. Yeah, lovely mid-morning, gorgeous day. Gorgeous day. Three hundred sixty-degree views. We're seeing. What is the island we're going to be going to tomorrow? That's Rengen Toto. Rengen Toto, which we'll see tomorrow. We'll we be that. We'll be on there tomorrow. We don't know the names of the different water areas. Of I mean, we know it's what the Pacific, but we don't, right. And, but they're harbors, or they're they're probably bays or something. From here, the shape of Rangitoto, um, there's a center area, and then well, the center area would be a volcano. And it's right, and then it slopes off gently, to both to the left and the right, as we're facing it. Or a volcano crater. The how island is. How many volcano craters do we see? Forty-eight. Say? Forty-eight, I think. Right. There are guns here, like this one. Here on North Head. That's where the gun is facing out. I think that must be Rangitoto Island up there in the distance. Here we are, Rangitoto Island. The island is completely uninhabited. All that's there to growth is growth from the lava. That's right, there was, right. It said there was no soil, soil no, no topsoil. Top the name Rangintoto means blood red skies or bloody sky. And they picked up that name from the Maori because when they saw it, it was erupting. And over here on the left of us are the Pohutawawa, oh no, Pohutakawa trees with the red, red flowers. The red part are all multi stamens. Here we are on the top of Rangitoto. If you have a mind to make the hour or so climb, uh, I recommend it. Wear comfortable shoes, good walking shoes. They don't have to be hiking boots. Um, you're going to be walking on uh, a decent trail, but the trail does have several sections of rocky footing. Uh, a lot of people don't need poles. I certainly did. Um, the footing can be a little tricky. Uh, if it's not hard, rocky footing, it's often uh, loose footing, like walking on gravel or scree. So it can be a little bit of a challenge, but it is a challenge worth doing.